Hello and welcome back. In this video, I'm going to show you how to add favorites to the favorites tab of the Binance app. So let's get started. So I'm launching the Binance app. So once you launch the Binance app, you're going to use the second icon on the bottom of the application, the markets um, icon. So you're going to click there. When the application first opens for the first time in the markets tab, it's going to display the BNB tab. The BNB tab is where you can see all of the different digital assets that you can buy, sell, and trade against um, the Binance coin. But I don't use the Binance coin, and I think it's a little bit easier to look at you know, the, the pricing of um, XRP using the US dollar tether um, stable coin. So USDT, you see it here, BTC slash USDT. So the USDT, um, digital asset is actually a stable coin and what that means is that they try to peg the value of the usdt token to the us dollar value so it rises and falls based on the us dollar not um, like other digital assets that are based on the buying and selling that people do this vid video isn't really talking about stable coins but the thing I want you to know is that you know you're when you see USDT you're not buying and selling for um, tether if you or, or you're not buying and selling for US dollars instead you're buying and selling in tether true USD another stable coin or the PAX coin you can't convert those into US dollar and trade them out and then you know put them on an exchange and just you know, tra transact them into US dollars. Instead, you'd have to sell the um, USDT, the PAX, or the um, the Tether coin for US dollars, and then transfer the US dollars out of your account. The, you know, USDT in this instance is just a good way to give you a valuation for how much the XRP is worth against the US dollar. It's an estimation, okay? I hope that makes sense. It was a lot of words, but let's go about adding XRP to our um, our favorites tab. So this one that I've pulled up to the top, right, XRP USDT, is the one that we're going to add to our favorite screen. And all I have to do is long press on it, which allows me to select favorites and pull it over. I'm also going to pull in a couple of other um, digital assets so that we can play with things on the favorites tab. I'm going to pull in BTC, ETH, USDT again. I'm going to pull in um, XRP packs, right? Okay. And I'm going to pull in XRP USDC, another stable coin. And then let's go and find XRP true USD because I think this is just a joke. Like right here, we have. Another one, true USD, USDT. This, all of this gets very confusing. I understand why people are confused when they look at this stuff because it doesn't really make a lot of sense in some ways. So let's go over to our favorites tab. So these are the different digital assets that I've pulled in to my favorites tab. And before we get started, I want to order them. So I clicked, and let me show you the, the little. A piece of paper with a pen at the very top you click that and it brings you to this screen where you can edit your favorites so I'm gonna pull I'm actually gonna click the arrow with the bar above it um, on the um, BTC USDT I'm gonna do that as well for ETH and then I'm gonna put BTC back on top then I've got um, true USD and USDT, I'm going to pull that down under ETH by using the sort and you just long press on it and you can drag and drop drag and drop it wherever you want. And then I've got my XRP USD, my XRP packs and my XRP USDC. Okay, so that when we come back over to um, our favorites page, you see that the, the bottom three listings, right, are for XRP. But they're actually the bot. Yeah, the bottom three listings are for XRP, but they're against three different digital assets. Those are all stable coins. So the price is not always going to match. 
I recommend that you use one stable coin and um, you know don't confuse yourself with the multitude of them all and because I've been using it for the longest and it's still available I use tether so I'm gonna get rid of the packs and to get rid of a coin that or a digital asset that's listed on your favorites tab on the left hand side you see the red button with the with the line through it just click on that and it'll delete it okay I'm also gonna get rid of this true USD USD tether listing so now all I have are my three uh, favorites and I'm actually gonna move XRP to the top because I think we're number one and I'm gonna click done so when I click done it brings me back to my favorite screen where I can see the different digital assets that I've added to my favorite screen so I'm gonna close the application now and I'm gonna relaunch it and the biggest change that you'll see now is that when I go to the markets tab, it's automatically going to start on my favorites. So this is one of my favorite Binance features, the fact that they have the favorites tab so that I can go and look very quickly at di different digital assets and that I can rearrange the listing of digital assets that I'm looking at. I hope you found this video helpful and I'll catch you on the next one. Thanks. Bye for now.